Beautiful, right? Her father, way up there, said that it, her performance made his day, and of course, all the neighbors loved it as well. Something we're seeing more and more with that talent and gift being shared. That's right. Thanks for watching. I'm Francis Rivera. And I'm Philip. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's, it's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage-free, fully adaptive, handicap-accessible house. And there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, it, everything's going to be okay. Planning a dinner party? Figure out how much food you need with the Guestimator at SaveTheFood.com. Coming up, an Amber Alert is in place for a missing Ohio one-year-old. A teen missing in Guernsey County is found dead in floodwaters, and Governor DeWine issues a stay-at-home order. Hello and good morning. It's Monday, March 23rd, 2020. I'm Nicole Hannes. We'll have those stories and more coming up. But first, let's check in with Chief Meteorologist Phil Sakel and a check of our forecast. Phil? Well, Nicole, we have seen some rain over the last couple of hours. We'll see that threat for a little bit more in the way of rain as we do get into the day today, but not tracking the lots as we start off the morning. But how long will this rain last? Full forecast details coming up. Thanks, Phil. Authorities say a man with violent tendencies has abducted a one-year-old in Logan, Ohio, around midnight. An Amber Alert has been issued for Steel Cold F-Step. He's a white male with blonde hair and blue eyes. He is two feet tall and weighs 40 pounds. He was last seen wearing a gray sweatpants and a black t-shirt with bones on it. He is believed to have been taken by 29-year-old Storm Lightning Zeitler. He is a white male with blonde hair and blue eyes. He was wearing a dark long sleeve shirt, blue jeans, and possibly a gray jacket with a skull on the back. Zeitler is driving a 1998 Ford Contour with Ohio Plates. HXN4100. The plate is fictitious and is not registered to the vehicle. If you have any information into this case, call 911 or 1 877 Amber, Ohio. The Guernsey County Sheriff's Office says they have recovered the body of a missing Guernsey County teenager. Sheriff Jeffrey Payton announced Sunday that the body of 17 year old Jack Rorick of Freeport was discovered on Skull Fork Road around three miles inside Harrison County. Hayden says once the water receded, a bystander was able to see the very top of the roof of the truck submerged in high water. Rorick disappeared around 7 p.m. Friday after saying he was going for a drive to look at the flood water. A police officer in a Cincinnati suburb was killed when a suspect collided with her vehicle during a chase. Springdale Mayor Doyle Webster says 33-year-old Kaya Grant is the first police fatality in the line of duty in the city's history. The Saturday night crash also injured a sergeant who was treated and released. Police Chief Tommy Wells says the chase began in another jurisdiction. The suspect is in custody and a firearm was recovered from the scene. Details about the reason for the chase and the suspect's identity weren't immediately released. Governor Mike DeWine has ordered U.S. and Ohio state flags full and a half staff at all public buildings in Hamilton County in honor of Grant. Governor Mike DeWine's administration is enacting a stay-at-home order as cases of coronavirus spike to a total of more than 350 in the state. DeWine says the stay-at-home order will, be, will start to be enforced Tuesday by local health departments and local law enforcement. Although he said the order includes things like he's already been asking residents to do, such as stay at home except for essential needs. DeWine's office says the spreading of virus has infected more than 350 people, up more than 100 in a day, with more than 80 in hospitals. His office reports that three people have died. Usually the Lemon Brothers on Lindbergh Avenue in Zanesville reserve their light show for the Christmas season. But with the coronavirus pandemic,